rain spreading into Mexico from Tropical Storm Alvin. Latest on Tropical Storm Alvin, currently at 18.7 degrees north and 109 degrees west as of 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Mountain Standard Time on May 30th, 2025, like I said, at 18.7 degrees north, 109 degrees west. A steadily weakening system right now with 50 mile an hour winds or 80 kilometer per hour winds, central pressure of 999 millibars or 29.5 inches of mercury, moving to the northwest at 10 miles an hour or 16 kilometers an hour, and scoring 28 points on our tropical cyclone operation scale, otherwise known as TCOS, placing it at an unclassified code. So this, this information, the latest, as of 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time, Mountain Standard Time, uh, in, as, as is the time in Cabo San Lucas and Mexico City, or Midnight UTC on Friday, May 30th, 2025, or in UTC's case, uh, May 31st, 2025. The steadily weakening system has begun its weakening trend earlier today as of that fact. This system right now is 131 miles away from Isla San Benedicto, 272 from Puerto Vallarta, 295 from Cabo San Lucas, 346 from Mazatlan, and 385 miles from La Paz. That's 211 kilometers away from Isla San Benedicto, 439 from Puerto Vallarta, 475 from Cabo San Lucas, 558 from Mazatlan, and 620 kilometers from La Paz. I just saw in the left there as well our little T-Coast thermometer unclassified. The, with the wind fields of this system are the largest being the northeast at 120 nautical miles, 100 to the southeast, 60 to the southwest and 80 to the northwest as well. So Tropical Storm Alvin is expected to be a short-lived system slowly making its way northward. It is not expected to make landfall as it has started to weaken earlier today and is expected to become a remnant low by Saturday, that is tomorrow. Once again, I'll, I'll say that again, Tropical Storm Alvin is expected to be a short-lived storm, slowly making its way northward. It is not expected to make landfall as it has started to weaken early today and is expected to become a remnant low by tomorrow. So once again, this system was at 18.7 degrees north and 109 degrees west. Once again, it's making its way northward. Uh, has begun its weakening trend. Uh, is not expected to recover from this weakening state. And yeah, so as it comes to this animation here, it's gonna be a relatively quick one. As you can see, it weakens, it makes its way northward. This is only a 36 hour forecast because that's as far out as we could go. S slowly weakening to 30 miles an hour by 12. So I'm first, what that clock is in the lower left there. Once again, our confidence on this forecast is rather high because it doesn't go too far out into the future. When it comes to the primary hazards of Tropical Storm Alvin, the primary hazard here is rip currents. This storm may generate swells that will affect portions of the coastline of west central and southwestern Mexico and the southern Baja California Peninsula throughout the weekend. These swells are likely to cause rip currents and dangerous surf conditions. If you would like more detailed information, please consult your local weather office. So once again, primary hazard associated with this tropical storm is rip currents. This storm may generate swells that will affect all coastline of west, central and southwestern Mexico and the southern Baja California Peninsula throughout this weekend. When it comes to the latest cone from the National Hurricane Center, this is of Advisory 9. As you can see, it makes its way northward to Baja California, but is not expected to make a tropical landfall there. In fact, becoming post-tropical very soon. When it comes to the chance of storm force winds, they're basically more or less zero for any land areas, but out to sea, depending on where you are located. 
yeah, here you could get chances of up to 100%. But when it comes to hurricane force winds, basically zero. This system it did not become a hurricane, it's not expected to become a hurricane, and is in fact basically not going to become one. So the chances here are basically guaranteed to be zero hurricane force winds or 64 knot winds. Due to this uh, is the sea surface temperatures. Once again, it's going to lose baining degree of 26 degree waters. Uh, so it's going to basically be a very fast weakening from this point forward. With the, when it comes to the surface plots, we can't get any surface plots that are any closer to the storm than as that you'll see on your screen right there. So I'm not sure how helpful that graphic is going to be. But when it comes to the multimodal diagnostics, yeah, that's basically it for the system. They do not expect any strengthening at all, partially due to the uh, deep layer shear, excuse me, being really high up. Uh, deep so drawing relative humidity also dropping to unfavorable levels. However, they, the models do agree on a steadily northward track. And when it comes to satellite imagery, you can take a look for yourself here at the website force-13.com forward slash satellite. It's not really looking great in the latest frames here. It did look rather quite presentable a couple of hours ago. Uh, unfortunately, this storm is on a terminal weakening trend, so it's not coming back anytime soon. When it came to the models a couple of days ago, this system was expected to basically grow and well, look at it now, really. It's, it had its chance, it blew it. And I'm afraid it's not coming back for more anytime soon. So it's basically, it's done for. I should also mention as well, uh, stay tuned to the Force 13 channel tomorrow night for our hurricane season predictions. That'll be a fun time. There'll be games, there'll be fun to have. Uh, I'm not sure what else there's gonna be, but it'll be a good time. So stay tuned to Force 13 for more on Alvin and possibly see what our predictions are like.